Yep. I bailed on that whole lab thing. I got other stuff going on, you know? I'm on my way up. The way I see it, the world is my oyster. Yep, I've got this. Who's ready for a big day? Hello? Hello? Zoe, are you there? I'm on my way in. Don't touch anything. Um. Where's JD? Is JD on his way to Microsoft? I haven't talked to him yet. Are you okay? Why are you doing that? I'm, <clears throat> I'm a bit ill. Well, I, I'm a little sick. I'm, I'm just, I'm not myself today. I, I have the dancing pox, and it's not as serious as it looks. Dancing pox? Professor, if you're sick, you should just stay in bed. I'll take care of everything. Wait, don't! Oh, what do you want? JD, where are you? Didn't you see my note that says I'm not coming in today? Wait, I forgot to leave a note. Well, I'm not coming in today. JD, the professor is sick and we need someone to head to Microsoft. Me? Oh, no. It's your lab now. I'm doing my own thing today. Okay, guess we have to get someone else to go check out Xbox today. Wait, Xbox? I'm all over that. I'm JD. Henry Chu, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, come in, come in. Where are all the video games? This looks more like someone's living room. This is the Microsoft Home. We have all the uh, Microsoft technologies integrated in a home setting. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you want to check it out, we have the Xbox over there. Sure. So what do you guys do here in Microsoft? We do a lot of different things. Some software, but here we design computer hardware. What kind of computer hardware? Xbox computer hardware. So just like this. Whoa. So the Xbox is actually a customized gaming computer. So it's very similar to your regular computer um, with some pretty similar parts. But um, it has like an optical drive, it has a CPU, GPU, it has USB ports, pretty similar, and uh, also a hard drive. What does it need a hard drive for? The hard drive's there. So you can actually install your games from your game disk to your hard drives, and that way you can play games faster. You can also download content such as like Xbox Live Arcade games or movies or music, mm -hmm. or even store your saved games online. How do you save game data on the internet? Uh, on the Xbox, it's pretty simple. You just uh, pick save my game on the internet. You know, this concept is actually called cloud storage. So it's kind of similar to how your Microsoft SkyDrive, you can save something from your phone and it shows up on the web browser later. What are you working on right now? Um, I'm working on some top secret things, um, but uh, my recent designs have been building this drive. There are a lot of different things that we did. We basically um, changed the size of this drive from the original one. We've made it smaller. We've made it quieter. We've sealed it, um, even with this acoustic foam, just to make it quieter. And we also added some other security features. It's much harder to try to copy games. And to make sure that everything works, we always do media detection testing. What do you mean by media detection tests? Uh, media detection tests are when we design a new drive, we want to make sure that these drives play games just as well as our previous drives. Hmm. And we make sure that the success rate's over 99%. Greater than 99%? Yep. Whoa, did you guys hear that? That's some high quality control. Unlike the lab. So, I just moved in with this family, and it's embarrassing. The little one, he likes to go outside and crawl around in the giant litter box. I don't know what he's doing. I mean, 
I was born and I knew how to use the litter box. Look at that. That's disgusting. Oh, poop already. You're making me nervous. Oh, okay, I can't look at this anymore. I really hope he grows out of this, for his sake. Stop. Whether it's on the way to school, at school, or online, bullying has become a non-stop threat to our youth today. Is your child being bullied? The National Runaway Switchboard can help. If you're having a hard time, get online or call to chat now. You were supposed to make a right, but you made a left. <laughs> and it's okay, you found your way. On a personal note, as I was counseling the two of, of you. Traditional light bulbs actually generate nine times more heat than light. Switch to Energy Star light bulbs and you'll realize just how much cash you are really burning through. Saving energy saves you money. Learn more at energysavers.gov. The average text takes your eyes off the road for nearly five seconds. Alright, we're here at Microsoft learning about what makes an Xbox tick. So an Xbox is a gaming computer. Um, it's got a lot of things that are just like regular computers. It's got a motherboard which controls all the other parts like uh, the network adapter. That's what lets you get online, right? Yeah, you can't play uh, online games without it. Nice. What else does it have? It's got other things like uh, microcontrollers. They're basically little computers in there that let you do little control things such as opening a tray yeah. or detecting my touch to turn on and off this light show in front. What are microcontrollers? Microcontrollers are little computers, so they have their own, they're all in one chip. So they're basically, they have CPUs, they have memory, they have IOs, which are inputs and outputs. Okay, I get it. So you can make these microcontrollers do lots of different things for the system. Yeah, but you can play with them by, you know, yourself too. Huh. So an example is, what's popular these days is called an Arduino. Um, and this is something that you just hook up to your computer and you can program it with USB. Basically, you can use it to make anything, like, for example, the fan control system in the Xbox. You can put a knob to adjust speed, you can, you can connect the fan up, and the, you know, the speed will change with the knob. Or if you add a temperature sensor, it could be temperature controlled and it'll speed up whenever it gets hot. You can also do other little things like uh, if you connect a solar panel to it and a light and connect it to a battery, that's basically the same thing as your outdoor lights. Huh. Um, and if you want to make it even more interesting, you just connect a, uh, a wireless controller to it and you can control eight lights at once. Wow. So you can use microcontrollers with solar panels? Wow. Man, I didn't know you could do so many different things. Yeah. So am I missing anything else? Just one thing. What's that? Well, you know, you think we could actually play the Xbox? Of course. Sweet. Well, let's go to the lab and set it up. I'm sure my uncle won't mind. All right, let's go. All right, I'm here. Don't mind me, I'm just disinfecting the area so I don't contaminate the lab. Yeah, you still look sick to me. I thought I told you to stay in bed. <clears throat> well, my symptoms are minor. But uh, what happened? What happened? Did the, is there a fire? Did the, the lab Wait, rats escape? No. Are there, there's no. spores in the, in the ventilation? No, everything's fine. Well, then if you'll excuse me. Check this out. Hey, Henry, could you help me set this up? Sure. What is that thing? It's an Xbox. Newfangled video games in my laboratory? Balderdash. But it does give me a chance to try out some new applied science. Ah, 
Now, video games have come a long way in a short time. The first patent for a video game was in 1940. And the first games were custom computer setups at universities like MIT and Cambridge. And then the early games were really, really simple, though, because, like, they didn't even invent a joystick for a game in, oh, 1958 was called Tennis, maybe? And then in 61, Space War was invented by MIT. And this is one of the most influential games of all time. Originating concepts like having two players and uh, two-player battle. And in 1966, the first video game designed for a standard television was invented. In 1971, another game called Galaxy Game was invented. And this was like the first ever coin-operated stand-up video game in computer space. And the same guys who founded it founded Atari. An instant hit called Pong. By the end of the 70s, of course, the games came into the house and they were in consoles and they made systems like Atari and Mattel and Sega and Nintendo and oh my goodness, interchangeable controllers and cassettes that you could take out from one game and put it into another game, switch the games, switch the games up and and then they hooked up to everyday television sets. It was, it was awesome. It was like, shake it, shake it. Okay. You know? Yeah. Um, why don't you sit down? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Okay. Well, oh my. See, an Xbox is basically a custom-made gaming computer. Like, inside the plastic chassis, there's a connection to a power supply. Okay. And this sends power to the various components on the motherboard. And the motherboard has two main parts. See, a CPU and a GPU. And the CPU does all the calculations for the game, and the GPU generates the graphics. Okay and the HD video signal to be sent <coughs> to the television set. Now, other components include like a sound card where you can get surround sound. Yeah. 5.1, totally. And, uh, and interfaces that work, the DVD drive and the controller ports, RAM, a hard drive, and that allows the data to be stored on the Xbox like for as long as you need it, so you can come back and play it. You could do that in the Atari. But a built-in network, <coughs> allows the Xbox to connect to the internet for online gaming or downloading. Okay. Uh, so, finally, the microprocessors control things like the flashing LED lights and the cooling fan, which are designed to run automatically. And when everything is hooked up, these different parts all work together to make the games playable. Okay. Yeah, that's really interesting, but you don't look so good. You're right, I don't feel so hot. Yeah. Maybe I should go lie down and get Yeah, I think you should. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, come on. All right, it's all set up. I can't wait to try this thing out. Go for it. Hi, I'm Zoe. I'm Henry. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, can I ask you a few questions? Sure. Okay, so what do you do at Microsoft? I design Xbox hardware. I work on system and board level design. Okay, so what do you mean by systems and what is board level design? For example, in the older Xboxes, we actually had two chips, a CPU and a GPU. In the latest designs, they're all in one chip. Okay, so you have a lot of different components that go into the Xbox, yes? Yeah. Okay, and I guess it's not every day that you get to see inside one like JD did, huh? That's true, and I wouldn't recommend opening an Xbox because you could really mess things up. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> So JD mentioned that you do testing on the Xbox, so what kind of tests do you run on the hardware? We run a variety of different tests, but some tests would be like running hot, very hot tests and really cold tests just to see what happens to the system. Okay, so you're trying to see if the components will fail? Exactly. Okay. So what you're really trying to do is figure out what could happen to the components if someone takes them home and uses them on a daily basis. 
Yeah, exactly. At Microsoft, we, uh, we know that the customers want to play the Xbox every day for years. We test our systems to two to three or ten times in harsher conditions than what would happen at home. So by the time someone gets their Xbox and takes it home, it can stand the household abuse. Oh, oh, in your face. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> exactly. So everyone has to collaborate to make sure that the new parts work together. Exactly. Whew. That was a workout. I think I'm going to take a break. You guys want to try this? Uh, no. No. You're on your way to meet up with friends, but you can't seem to get anywhere quickly. You don't want your friends to be annoyed, so you text. You're on your way. Five seconds is the average time your eyes are off the road while texting while driving. Make sure you get where you're going. So, I'm kind of new here, but I've noticed a trend. My human does this funny thing where she goes around and gets all my toys, and then she hides them in that basket by the door. You know, but it's always the same basket, and it's always in the, in the same place. And then she acts so surprised when I find them, but, you know, she's putting them in the same basket. Again. It's like, hello? That's where you put it last time. You were the worst at hide-and-go-seek. When you throw away money on wasted electricity, you're throwing away everything you could have bought with it. Saving energy saves you money. Learn more at energysavers.gov. Okay, so what is your favorite part about working at Microsoft? I get to design really fun and awesome computer uh, consumer products. For example, I'd be the guy designing the uh, race car and not the guy designing the toaster. <laughs> that does sound really cool. So what did you study when you went to college and did it help you prepare for this type of career? Uh, I studied electrical computer engineering in uh, the University of Texas in Austin. Mm -hmm. And uh, that combined with some internships really helped out a lot. Oh, cool. So have you always been into computers and gadgets and that type of stuff? Yeah, since I was small I you know, played a lot of computers uh, and also a lot of video games. <laughs> yeah, so I know a lot of people that are also really into playing video games, but I never really thought about working for a company that actually makes the devices. So what other types of jobs do people at Microsoft specialize in? Well, as everyone knows, uh, there's software engineering um, and there's hardware um, and there's customer service and technical support jobs. Uh, I work in the Xbox hardware design team, so we build Xboxes, Connects, and things that no one's ever seen before. Oh, that's so cool. So, 
What would you recommend to someone that's really interested in this type of career? To start, get involved early. Um, mm -hmm. Look at internships, apprentice programs for kids in high schools. Uh, Microsoft sponsors things like Imagine Cup, which is a student technology competition. Uh, Microsoft IT Academy, which is a um, global technology education program. Mm -hmm. And also we sponsor uh, the, the Tech Museum. Oh, that's cool. And they sound like really great programs. And it's also cool to know that a big company like Microsoft is so active in the community. Yeah. Well, uh, I need to hit the road. So uh, why don't you guys just borrow the Xbox for a while? Really? Yeah, I'm sure the uh, professor will return to me later. Awesome. Thanks. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. JD, do you have any other games on that thing? Yeah, uh, I have this dance game. Dancing? Did someone say dancing? Um, shouldn't you be resting? You're not my mom. And anyway, I'm starting to feel better. I just need to, I just need to get this dancing out of my system. Whoa, why don't you play this with us? All right. Wow, that was fun! I think I feel a lot better now that I'm up and around, but I'm, I'm so tired. I, yeah, and yeah, you're I, still sick, so I think you should go home. Well, 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 to be honest, I was worried that, that you wouldn't take care of everything, but it looks like it's all going to be fine. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to go over here and lie down under this cyclotron for a while and okay. calm my nerves. You do that. Against consciousness, I'm gonna get in huge trouble for skipping out today. Oh, I didn't tell him about that. You didn't? Mm -mm. Wow. Uh, thanks, I think. I don't really know what to say. It's okay. I'm gonna go check on your uncle. He said he was going to lie down, but I think he accidentally went to the broom closet. Be right back. It's a good thing that today I didn't really skip out. If the professor found out, he would probably flip out. Because I wonder what would happen. He would probably shout, JD, why you skipping, boy? You better get out of my lab. Anyway, I got to learn about an Xbox. It was cool, got to see what's inside of it. A triple core 64 processor bit and a graphics chip to make it look legit. Takes a lot of different parts to be building it. Even got a DVD drop built in it. The Xbox is fly and there's more to say. But I'm out of y'all, cause I'm about to play the Xbox. Xbox. Check back with us next week. See y'all.